edition of a Tuesday night, 11 Live. I'm Ian Gilmore. Thanks for uh, joining the ride with us tonight. Uh, we had a bye week last week. We were off. So uh, the guys had a little bit more time uh, for rest and relaxation. Did have a scrimmage this past weekend behind closed doors and no updates from us now that we're in the season. Uh, but this week, they're back in action. The boys in blue are heading north to Hamtramck to take on Detroit City FC. Uh, and today we bring on our guest, Jonas Fjeldberg. Jonas, thanks for joining me. I really appreciate it, man. Good to see your face again. It's been a little while. Um, I want to take you back first to a little bit ago, uh, season opener in Tampa Bay. Uh, 1-1 draw on the road against a, a team that's good every single year. When you think back at that, and I'll uh, bring up some pictures to refresh your mind too, uh, what kind of goes through your mind of how you felt starting the season? You know, obviously I was uh, super excited to uh, get going in the season. I thought we put on a good performance. A um, couple of uh, chances there I'd like to have back, but, you know, the start of the season, you know, can't get let that get to your head. And, uh, you know, I'm just uh, super excited to get the to get going. And, and uh, it's really looking like we got something good going on this year. Yeah, for sure. I want to bring you one that, that really stood out, a big part of the game. A lot of people did not see – uh, the angle of this one here. Walk us through what you saw uh, on this one that you came very close on. Yeah, so this is uh, the one that I really want back. Um, so from my, I've been watching it back uh, multiple times. You know, I try to dink it over the goalie. As you can see, he gets a touch on it. But uh, looking back, I uh, there's a lot of space on his left side, my right side. You know. Uh, as I said, I uh, I would have loved to have that one back, but yeah. Did you know in the moment that he got a touch? Could you kind of tell from your angle? So the first time um, he called the, I saw the ref. He uh, said it was a corner, so I was like, no way, he got a touch on that. And I also thought there was no way I actually missed that. So uh, at least it was a save, you know, just not just a straight up miss. So I'm, ha this is bad to say, but I'm happy he got a touch on it rather than me just missing the goal, you know. Well, yeah, you can see just from that angle that, I mean, it was heading in. So it was, yeah. it's not like it was a terrible finish by any means. Uh, and it was, even though a keeper saved it, it was good, good save that he got back up. Um, but we did, you know, get points in the last minute. So uh, it was good we to get yeah. back home from that one. Uh, one yeah. thing that I think it's interesting, not a, people, not a lot of people see is, you know, they only see you for that hour and a half, the 90 minutes you're on TV when you're on the road. But there's so much more that goes into those trips. Uh, so I'm curious, with this new group, how did you feel they sort of uh, you sort of bonded and connected a bit more on this first away trip? So you know, there's uh, something about uh, getting breakfast together, you know, dinner, pregame meal, postgame meal, uh, you know, just hanging out uh, outside of the field. And I really feel like uh, this group of guys we have right now is uh, something special. Uh, you know, I bond with a lot of guys. I talk to everyone. Uh, there's not one single one of them that uh, you know you could consider a superstar or anything like that even though they got a lot of minutes in this league a lot of goals a lot of assists they're still like very down-to-earth people uh just great group of guys that seem to uh really get along well together Who, who's your roommate uh it was jack blake I mean, any uh, any tidbits or behind the scenes info you can give us any funny moments just a great roommate uh Great roommate, um, you know, uh, he had a lot of friends down there, so he was out seeing them some, uh, he was out seeing them before the game, you know, uh, the day before the game. So, you know, just just great guy, great roommate. Good. Doesn't leave his clothes every, every, everywhere at least. No, no, very tidy guy. Typical of an Englishman, huh? Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> <You're right. laughs> good, good to know, good to know. Uh, with this week being a little bit uh, different, I know you guys um, – had the, had a friendly on Sunday and that made it a little different too, playing on a Sunday as well. But with that kind of extra day off midweek, I know the group went fulling, but anything else you, you did with your time uh, off this week in the middle of the week? You know, every off day, I make sure that I'm also uh, like doing something, whether that is to go do cryotherapy, you know, get a massage, uh, go swim in the pool, go like hot tub, sauna, something. I always want to keep my body going. So it's not too far in between, uh, my body getting something done. So, you know, I really enjoy my off days. You know, I might have a cheat meal here and then, but um, definitely uh, I try to do, uh, get out of the, get out of my house and uh, get my body moving a little bit. You, you have been in Indy or at least were introduced to Indy before a lot of the guys that are here. So uh, I know your time kind of was split, but what have been some of your favorite spots that you've discovered in this last, you know, year, 16 months that you've been here? 
Oh, in Indianapolis, uh, at the Prime Steakhouse downtown, where uh, it's really good. Uh, there's uh, the Bub's Burgers uh, downtown, uh, Carmel, in the art district, I believe it's called. It's really nice. Uh, you know, I went I went to an Italian place uh, closer to downtown with my parents when they came visit it. I don't remember what it's called, but uh, there's a picture on my Instagram outside their uh, sign. Okay. I'm not sure what they're called, but they were, that was elite. That was great food. There's a lot of good Italian places around here too. I don't know if you've tried um, Piata, but it's kind of more like a oh, yes. yeah, Chipotle type setup, but for Italian food, that would, one time I went there, I really enjoyed it. Yeah. I, uh, Piata is my uh, go-to pregame meal when we're playing at home. Oh, that's fantastic. What What's like, what's the order? What do you get as you're going down the line? <sighs> you know, it's between the chef's favorite uh, with the grilled chicken or uh, the Pomodoro pasta. Can't go wrong with that place. Fantastic pregame. No, um, don't miss. Yeah. Let's look forward to uh, the week ahead. Um, a Saturday afternoon kickoff in Detroit. Now, so you weren't with Indy when, when they played them last year, right? Because that's when you were at RGV? Uh, I believe that was uh, – I played them at home. I did not play away. Okay. So that, that game in July, but this will be first trip up to Hamtramck. Is that right? That is right, yeah. Okay, so uh, well, having experienced played them before, what do you remember from last year, and what are you kind of expecting for the matchup this weekend? You know, they're a very tough team. Uh, they're super physical. You know, very hardworking. They'll be on top of you uh, from minute one through the ninetieth minute. You know, they last year they got a lot of great results. Even though it was the first uh, year in the league, uh, got a lot of respect for them. But uh, I really do believe that uh, overall uh, we're a better team and. Uh, you know, if we play the soccer that we want to play, uh, you know, it should be uh, – should go our way. Uh, an interesting uh, little tidbit just uh, will happen at, at this weekend, I guess. Uh, not a lot of times you get to play against uh, your fellow countrymen, I guess, in this league. But uh, Skage Simonsen from D- DCFC is Norwegian as well. I, are, is the – I guess – do the, do the players that, that hail from Norway in this league, do you have like sort of like a fraternity at all? Is that something where, you know, it's rare enough where you kind of say hi to the guy during, during the match or before it? Yeah, we'll definitely have a chat after the game. You know, I don't know him personally uh, as much, but, you know, I've heard about him. I heard about his great college career and, uh, you know, I'm really happy to see him doing well uh, in this league. Uh, are there any others that you know of in the league? Uh, in the USL right now, no. I know we got a couple guys in the MLS. Uh, is there any other Norwegians? Not a, not that I can think of right now, no. So I guess, yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool little thing. It'll be nice to see you guys yeah. on the pitch against each other. Um, you kind of going along with that, I wonder if you have been surprised by anything you've seen with this this team so far. Obviously, you kind of watched the names and the, and the players roll in through the off season. Uh, once you knew you were you were coming back for this season, but has there anything that's really surprised you as you've started playing with them? You know, uh, when we uh, when I saw the names that we announced, you know, obviously I thought, wow, these are uh, these are some really great players. I played against them uh, during my time here in the league, and uh, you know, I was super excited to get to know them. You know, but uh, when you hear these names, you kind of think, oh, I wonder how what it's going to be like off the field. You know, he's got a lot of reasons. Not to just, uh, you know, uh, just be a good guy, if that makes sense, you know. He's got so much respect. Uh, but, you know, they're just a bunch of genuine, genuinely great guys, you know. Uh, they uh, take care of everyone. Uh, they make sure that we follow, you know. They lead by example. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of what surprised me the most, uh, just how how great guys they are. Yeah. Uh, definitely can uh, can speak to that as well. Just being around the guys, definitely not as much as you, but uh, can <laughs> see that you know you spend five minutes around the group and you can kind of see that. Um, yeah. Your journey in Indy has been an interesting one. I wonder what can you kind of share about maybe conversations you had before you headed out to uh, RGV for half the season last year. Uh, what kind of was that process like? Did is that something that was brought up to you? Is that something? I guess kind of how did that happen? So I know that, um, like, I was struggling a lot with injuries last year in my time here in Indy, and I really never got going, you know, in a consistent uh, rate. Uh, so, you know, I was just trying to get back into it, and uh, then I heard some uh, some stuff about RGV uh, wanting me back for unloan, and uh, Jesus was obviously heading the other way. And, you know, I thought, 
you know, uh, I love Indy. Uh, if they, this is what they need, you know, they need a center back, then, you know, I'll go. Uh, I obviously felt like I didn't have a good, good enough consistent run here. So, you know, uh, when it was brought up to me, I said, you know what, if this is what's best for the team, I'll do it. And then I'll come back better next year. And, uh, you know, uh, it all worked out. You know, I had a great time in RGV and, um, you know, we made the playoffs. Uh, I got, you know, I got a lot of goals. So it was, it worked out uh, for both parts, I think. And now that I'm here with Jesus again, he's also just a great dude. You know, I'm happy I get to play alongside him as well. I understand why they wanted him. Yeah, for sure. And it's good to see you both back in the blue and uh, the blue checkers this, this season. So yeah. it kind of worked out uh, great for, for everyone involved. Um, as we come up on the home opener, not this weekend, but the weekend after, I guess, uh, how excited are you to, to get back in front of the fans at the mic? You know, I'm super excited. You know, I, uh, you know, every time we, uh, like the last two years I've been here, uh, we start the season, we know this run of away games uh, and it doesn't feel like the season really gets going until we get to see the fans, you know, at the mic, you know, the Brickyard Battalion, everyone. It's just a different, a different atmosphere there. And uh, that's when I really feel like, okay, okay, now we're going. Yeah, well, and once we do get going, it'll be a lot of games at home, I believe five in the month of April. So uh, it won't yeah. be too long now and it'll be thick and fast once it comes. Uh, Jonas, thank you as always, man. It's great to see you. Uh, we'll be seeing you this week and uh, good luck this weekend in Detroit. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yep. Fans, you can catch him. ESPN Plus, 4 o'clock this Saturday when Indy 11 takes on Detroit City FC up north. We'll see you next week on 11.30.